Welcome back, my loyal subjects to more The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4, Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we did our walkabout, and we also wished Emperor Eugent good luck on his surgery. Now it's time for us to take on Leanne and Argreon, but first, I am truly grateful for your help. I am sure His Majesty is delighted too. I intend to stay by his side during the surgery. Hopefully, no. I am sure that His Majesty will pull through. Please make sure to continue putting in your best efforts, no matter what it may be. Leave no regrets behind. Yes, Your Highness. I'll be praying to Adios for the Emperor to pull through. Alright. And with that... Let's head in. If you head to the Stella Sanctuary in Crossbell, the main story will progress. Please note that quests and sub-events you have yet to complete will disappear. Now we're fine. And then we're also fine with this group. I also went through everybody's orbment and equipment as well. Just for some teensy updates, but we may take another look at Reens. Maybe. But for right now... We got that pillar of light in the distance. Hey, Yuna, you said you guys came here to the Lake Elm Wetlands before, didn't you? Yeah, but this will be the first time we explore this side of the area. Last time it was guarded by the Imperial Defense Force. Looks like it's all clear now, though. New territory, huh? So we must be in a different spot than where they awaken the Auric Knight. If we use that Pillar of Light as a guide, we should reach the Sanctuary soon enough. Come, we don't have time to waste. All right, and now let's go ahead and get started there. on showing yes, these things what for. Ha. Start with this one here. Unoira, level 132. A small monster with long antennae. It kills its prey painlessly with its soft hair and unique saliva. It's weak to Earth, Fire, and Mirage. It's my turn. It is your turn. Let's go ahead and hit him with... We can get them all with a true Thunderfang. Thunderfang! Ooh. Here that I was go. fairly effective. Uh, this might actually be the game ender. Got him. All right, well. That is the power of Not a problem. Getting better. True Howling Heavens can now be, uh... Okay. It's great that it tells us what it does, but it'd be nice if we could see the, the description of the actual... Okay. Interesting. We can probably assume that it's just stronger if it's anything like what happened with Laura. Ooh. You are also new. Now's our chance! Go ahead and get to killing. Yeah. Before we can get to killing, we have to get to learning. Nightmare Frog, level 133. A frog monster with violent characteristics. It draws its prey into a nightmare, then feeds. It's weak to earth, water, time, and space. Here I go. Uh, let's go ahead and bump let's our go. damage up a Raging little bit. So the Duvali can get a nice one of these in. Most excellent. Oh, the Petrify. Well, nice friggin' knowing ya. So we've got status effects galore. And then she can hit him with... No, okay, she needs a bit more move. Maybe. Really? Can't get him like that? Maybe I should switch where Laura and... Because if Laura were standing where Gaius was at, she might... Well, whatever. Uh, 
All right, we're just gonna go for the uh, the Azure Cleaver. Azure Cleaver. Yeah. No. Too slow. Dang. <laughs> we're able to get rid of the one that was it's completely fine, which kind of sucks. Arcane Gale. Excellent. Good now. stuff, Reen. Very well. And now for them. Well, I guess we can just yeah. go ahead and beat on it from here. Let's go. <clears throat> A little more break damage on Gaius's part would be pretty nice. All right. Well. Awesome. Let's go. Shit. Nice. Now. There. And that's our win. Ooh, level one thirty-seven for Gaius. Pretty nice. And now, what is this? Oh, I found huh. the treasure. Suzaku, awesome. I think that leaves. Uh, we definitely have Byako and Sadie, but I, I don't think we've got Genbu yet. But that's fine. Huh. Ready. Three out of four ain't bad. Ooh, huh. you are also new. Hey it's time for you Finish to die. Go ahead and investigate a little bit. Metal Mon Silo, level 132. A beguiling butterfly monster that beguiles with its sparkling wings. It's strong enough not to need camouflage. It's weak to earth, wind, and space. I'm up! You are up, and it's time for an arcane deal. This. She can. Oh, we can get all three Azure with an Azure Cleaver. Cleaver. That's it. If you're wondering why she's doing so well, sword. it's because we Evil put Minotauros on her. Went ahead and had. Or wait, was it Minotauros? Let me make sure I'm saying the correct thing. Yes, it is. Uh, hold on. Which actually means I should probably take Minotauros off of. We can give her Kaleido. And then we can give her Sophia. Let's switch it around. Let's give her Sophia and then give her. Actually, let's take Mobius on her. Yeah. And, come on, let's do Scorpio for you. And then Mobius for you. Just so there's less crossover, because now she has a Mirage and Space Master Quartz. She's got a Space and Mirage Master Quartz. And then she's got an Earth and Space Master Quartz. And they're they don't they don't strictly both How are they both set to Dunamis, but it's still level 8? Oh well. Maybe Dunamis just needs way more XP than the other huh. ones. Ready. It is a pretty good Master Quartz. Huh. That might be the way forward. Ooh. Even if it's not the way forward. Let's yeah. go ahead and get this, this thing slow. out of here. Be careful. Start with you. Yeah. Dimensional Bug. Level 133, a non-native snail monster that disrupts the environment. It spits out putrid-smelling saliva that corrodes any material. It's weak to earth, wind, and space. Very well. And then you will get this one. Yeah. It's grody looking. Tiamat, level 134. Deified by some, it's said it was created along with the world. It turns all its foes to stone and kills any who anger it. It's weak to earth, water, and space. Molten slime. <laughs> Kinda sucks that Gaius wasn't close enough to get in there and do some Leave damage, but we shall be fixing that. Heart. Let's go. Uh let's go for that true Thunderfang. <laughs> Thunderfang! Not gonna know what to hit him. Let's go. And then she can true Azure, Azure Cleaver. Cleaver. Yeah. 
most excellent. No. Enhanced. Oh, what? You won't escape. Shouldn't let Gaius get that damage in. An opening. Let's go. Uh, let's go for the waning crescent slash. Cut through. It's down. This friggin' thing. There. My duty calls. Oh, the Blade Lord Spectre is the only craft of hers that's got that additional unbalanced chance. Petra Tentacles? You won't escape. I mean, I'm glad that didn't Let's actually go, go through. Now. There. And we got our whole investment into Avalon Hearts back, too. <laughs> I and so from here, there was that one chest behind uh, us. This is near where we faced off against the SSS two years ago. Wait, really? Shit. Ready. We didn't actually end up engaging in battle, however. Shit. Now that I think about it, my lord was particularly taken with this area even back then. Hmm. Maybe she already had an inkling of how this would all play out. Maybe Leanne knew this is the place where she would expire finally, be laid to rest? It's a distinct possibility. But we don't have to worry about possibilities right now because we're going to make it a reality. We're going to release her from the curse of being uh, an Awakener. Dang. Can we get another one of those TMs? Not really interested in the small fry. Grab this too. Other frog. And a chest. Ooh, and a fishing spot. Nice! More Sepith. Always excellent. There, okay, cool. Come to Papa. Alright, well, if you wanna. There! Do Give it your all. Wait. Your skills certainly live up to your title. I'll admit, you do your family name proud as well. Aw, they've got a really excellent Link ending, but I thought I had linked yeah, that encounter, like that. but I had not. Oh well. Whoa! Nope, you had your chance to get killed by us, and you blew it. You ruined it. But this chest has every chance to be collected oh, by us. It's a treasure chest. Tyrell SR. Most excellent. And then I don't know if we've done a whole bunch of fishing here. Let's go ahead and put little Musa in the party. Give her the opportunity to just stretch her My turn. I'm going! Fishing rod. Cast some yeah. lines, see what we can see. Here's one! <laughs> I'm gonna catch you! Is that? That might be a new one. Oh hmm. my, it's a big one! Pearl glass. Okay, yeah, I was like, never seen that before. Let's uh let's get some more fishing time in. There. Let's we'll probably just do it like maybe three Here's times. One. Another lively. great. What is that, a blue marlin? That is fish. definitely Elecantis. Okay, we are two for two. Is there a third species we have there. not caught here that we can get? Here's one. Uh, oh, hold on. It got away. Definitely can't go out on there. one of those. Here's one. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. This this looks familiar. It's some kind of arowana. No, it's, it's a like catfish? One. Marble snakehead. Okay, we have caught it before, though. All right, let's go for one more. There. Just one more. Here's one. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, it's you. another pearl glass. That's okay. Even so, getting two brand new fishing species in one go. Oh my, it's a 
it's a big one. Works out Let's perfectly. Go. All right, put Duvali back in. And then it looks like this is our next stop. Hmm. There's a bunch of Pleroma grass here, too. Which makes sense. Oh! There's the entrance to the sanctuary! About time. Getting here was tougher than I thought. Hmm. Let's get going, Duvali. We'll never be able to start all of this unless we head inside. Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. Let's move out! Right. And in we go. Ooh. Definitely out of all the places we've been to so far, this one has the most tetracyclic towery type vibe. Stella Sanctuary. So this is the Stella Sanctuary. It's beautiful. But beautiful as it is, there's this tension in the air. Someone's waiting here for us. Yes, I sense the aura of battle, clear as day. I'm sure our opponents are also aware of the significance this place has held to our lord over these past two and a half centuries. Oh. Well now, wouldn't want to let him down, now would we? Make no mistake, our opponents are proud warriors who will wipe the floor with us if we let down our guard for so much as a second. Be ready to engage at a moment's notice, and don't even think of holding back to save your strength for later. No matter what or who stands in our way, we shall cut them down and reach my lord hale and hearty! Yeah, let's do it! Heh, <laughs> spoken with the unwavering conviction of the Stall Ritter. Glad to have you with us. Enough with the motivational speeches. Let's get a move on. Okay, so they had Duvali do it. It's my, turn. Fact, my turn. Here I go. Let's go ahead and switch to her. For this. Yeah. What are their names? Whoa, completely yeah. missed. Don't let up. It's uh Anea and Ines. Yeah. They're the two who should be waiting for us here, waiting to get clobbered. Star Cryon, level 133. This sh or this shiny monster congregates where the shrine's energy is strongest. Attacking intruders with high-level arts. It's weak to water, fire, and time. And it's also all by its lonesome. Arcane down. Get some. It's down. There. Leave it to me. Gaius with the Gale Storm 2, a uh, Gale Storm 2, and its friggin' ridiculous AoE. And then this flame brand, which hopefully, there we go. Teach him a lesson. Let's go. Uh, we'll go for. Well, true Azure Cleaver is her Azure cheapest Cleaver. craft. I swear upon my sword. All right. Well, got those cryons out of there pretty easily. No more breakables over here. But it looks like there's our first barrier. Ooh, and an enemy. Yeah. I'm prepared to Come shout. here. We missed completely. Yeah. The wind is with us. Her, her, that thing is, it's kind of thin. Her attack. Dancing Maiden, level 134. A shrine-haunting phantom that steals mortals' life force for itself. Its shrieks immobilize its victims with terror. It's weak to fire, wind, and that's it. Leave it to me. Oh. They resist what we were trying to get them with. Let's go for the Azure true Azure Cleaver, Cleaver, see if they resist big damage. 
turns out, they do not. Here I go. And then a little bit more. Excellent. Should be enough to get him nice and finished off. No. All right, well, that thing still had a sliver of health left, but only a sliver. Easy enough. Okay. Now, what do we do about this barrier? It seems to be powered by fire mana, but there's also some time mana mixed in. There has to be a way to deactivate it. Let's figure out how and keep moving. Right, so we've got a time fire mix going on here. And maybe we shouldn't have... A powerful foe! Just my style. So that's going to be our caution encounter for this dungeon. The Zerum Capsule. Yeah. That's probably not going to be... Yep, just barely not enough. Alright, so we're going to have to take on whatever the heck this thing is without being able to get an Assault Gauge Charge thing off. Yeah. Alright. Run around in circles. Nope. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, whoops. Whoa. We got the single advantage, so that's all that matters. Well, before we issue anything, Crescent yeah. Knight and his groupies. Crescent Knight, level 135. A spirit of a noble knight, his greatsword corrupted by the blood he has spilled and thirsting forevermore. It's weak to earth, wind, and mirage. It's my turn! It is your turn. So we're going to issue Avalon Hearts. Avalon Hearts! I'm up! And then we'll have Reen. Oh, uh, we can 7th yeah. Caliber. We can do it completely for free. Might as well. Get in there and start showing them what for. Hopefully this does... A well, it's Reen, so... That's actually not too bad. Let's go. Can we get them all? What? We can't get them all with a Thunderfang? Oh, that's not cool. Hmm. But we've got them all with Glorious. the turbulence, though. Sweep them away. Most excellent. It's down. An opening. Finish. Oh, that's that thing done. Here I go. Now for a flame brand. You got the critical off. Only got one of those enemies out of there. It would have been preferable for Gaius to have gotten that repost off, but oh well. We can get them both with the Azure Cleaver, and if we can get the unbalance. Most excellent. That's game set match. No problems. They're actually, like, in terms of raw damage output, Laura and Doobly are putting Gaius and Reen to friggin' shame. They are not playing around. Got no choice but to respect it. The stars here are absolutely beautiful, but also a little creepy. Yeah, I'm prepared they're to sparkling like gems. The sky's been swallowed up by the fires of war. They burn as sharp and bright as the determination in my lord's eyes. Dang, dude. Even at this stage in the game, she's still praising the crap out of her lord. That is dedication. And we are also dedicated to a getting that free XP. Let us continue on. Duvali and Reen reach Link level 4. Protective wall, lethal assist. Level 5 with Angelica. Rush 2. Oh, all right. Rush 2 for them as well. Dang, dude. <laughs> all right, well, I guess Angelica is overdue for some new Link levels. That is a bunch, though. Uh, well, there's no reason for us to not activate it now that we're actually standing right here. Platform is probably gonna... Okay. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna deal with raised platforms this time around. And I think that 
yeah, all the destroyables are now respawned. Which is excellent for us. Or maybe not all of them. Maybe I just missed that one. But there's also over here, which we have not been to. Just the dancing maiden. Okay, not worried about killing you, but we are wanting this. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Black Panther armor. Whoa. Not nearly as good as the Avalon Garv. He'll... He'll lose some speed, but that's fine. We can give him an advanced jacket. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can definitely give her the Damascus coat. And the Excel girder. Alright, well, now that we've got something new for Gaius to rock out in, doesn't look like there's anything left for us in the preliminary section of the Stella Sanctuary. Time for us to move on up and potentially face off against our very first challenge. But we'll see once we get there. This place really does look friggin' nice, though. If only it weren't for all the friggin' monsters. Yeah, we got a nice little place to heal. Uh, let's go ahead and get that set. And I'm assuming the first up is going to be um, the archer one. Anea. Anea the... Uh, Anea the Sharp. That's our friggin' moniker. Yep. What's up, dude? Welcome, everyone. All right. Ah, it's her. Greetings, Anea. Old Deadeye with the Orbal Bow, huh? Hello, Duvali, Class 7. What a pleasure to see you. I hear Arkansas's popularity has been soaring as of late. A shame I wasn't able to attend their latest performance. Yes, I wish I could have seen it myself. It would be a pity if the world got annihilated in the near future and we could never go see a play together. <laughs> Touche. It's no wonder Duvali forsook us to abscond with you. Do not mock me, Anea. I left because I yearned to discover what our Lord's true intentions are. If you're going to stand in my way, I will show you no mercy. Whoa, Duvali. <laughs> Get to see the fire still burns on our head night. You know about the cult that dis are that disgusting organization that venerates devils. My parents offered me to them as a test subject. Learning to use an orbal bow was the only happy byproduct of that vile exchange. But it was our Lord and Duvali who rescued me, and wrested me back from the brink and helped restore my humanity. My debt to you will never be fully repaid. And Naya, that, uh, that seems kind of personal to be announcing to a group of near total strangers. By the cult, she must mean... The cult that denies Adios' existence. The church assisted in wiping them out. Jeez. When you summarize them like that, it makes it seem like Adios is not to be gone against. She's really been through some shit. Okay. She brought herself back up, and she's gonna snipe us from the back line. Awesome. Our Lord will be your final opponent here. Due to your absence as our head knight, Duvali, I now take up the mantle. Really? You understand what that means, right? I will not back down. I'm more than ready to face you, Anea. Now you understand that I will open a path ahead of us as Duvali the Swift. There's nowhere to hide from the eyes of the Sharp. I would have thought it would have gone to uh, Inez, but if Enea was recruited pro well before Inez, then I guess it makes sense. And Inez was, uh, yeah. she was like a bracer or something before joining. 
Sleipnir F20, level 136, or a Boros' Combat Archaism, modify it to remain fully operational even in shrines with strong force fields. It's weak to water, fire, and mirage. So she's gonna go ahead and speed him up really quickly. Not anything we can't deal with. Shield Bash. <laughs> Alright, took a Mighty. bit of a beating there, but we'll issue this. Let's go. And now... Go ahead now with the Radiant safe. Spin. Hey nice. Now. Too slow. Another Shield Bash. Uh-oh! An Laura said, no thank you. It's my turn. Um, let's have Reen. Waning Crescent Slash. Cut through. No now. idea what she's about to hit Laura <laughs> with. And Laura's turn order is already completely forked because we haven't gotten an opportunity for Duvali yeah. to be able to chrono drive everyone yet. So he's gonna go ahead and take care of things like this. Got him! I do so love toying with prey. Jeez, dude! Taught those guys a lesson! Nice! If only it had been Gaius instead. And in fact, it's my turn. Let's have Gaius run up, use his last turn of Avalon Hearts. Of course, he pushes her just a little too far away. Oh well. Anea the Sharp, level 137. Stalritter serving the 7th Anglis of Ouroboros. Wields a normal bow with grace and stunning accuracy. She's not weak to anything in particular. Here I go. Go ahead and get yes. her in there. Now. An opening. I'll handle this. Ooh, that delay. That <laughs> miss. It's my turn. Go ahead and have everybody get a little closer. It's my turn. Whereas Gaius will issue Avalon Hearts, which we should have done. Already. Let's go. Uh, he can impede. Yeah. Roaring winds. Sweep them away. And Laura is pretty close to being able to now. drop her S craft. An opening. Not gonna happen My in time though. My blade oh empty. well. I think we're going to have Gaius use Prominence Nova for free. The thought appeals to me. Go ahead and have her sit down for us. I won't let you. Angel Arrow. Jeez, dude. And she's just passively regenerating completely for free. Must be nice. Uh, there's our Mandrake suit. Come back to us, Laura, pretty please. Thank you. And then go ahead and hit her with that true Radiant Blade. The soul of our Show her that she can't just do whatever she wants. So I guess Angel Arrow just attempts... I would have thought it would have attempted to afflict Charm on us, but... Or inflict Charm on us. 50,000. Piercing Arrow. Cool. At least we're doing way more damage at once. Medusa Arrow. Okay, it missed her entirely, thankfully. Leave it to me. I just want Gaius to. We'll position Gaius. Well, we'll position Gaius directly in front of her. 
Here and then we'll put Duvali directly behind her. I'm up. And then we immediately moved her out of position. Alright, let's put Laura right here. No! Oh crap! I didn't see the HP heal until it was too friggin' late! Let's go. Alright. We're still gonna get her. My duty calls. I'll handle this. You shall with an Avalon Hearts. Triumph! Avalon Hearts! I'll and then you're this. also going to eat something to give you heightened strength. That's a small medium. Yasmela's salad is uh Yasmela's salad is looking pretty good. Alright, but the ancient steak is looking even better. Yeah. Go ahead and show her what's what. Behold, the and there's another crit coming up. Now. I think we're gonna have Gaius go for the true howling heavens on that. Unless Laura potentially gets yeah. hers back. Yeah, almost a hundred thousand. Okay, so she's about to hit us with her own S craft. All right. It's my turn. If she wants to try that. It's down. There. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're definitely. Uh oh. So Dooley is about is to bite it. Of the soaring phoenix. Golden yeah. deep in my soul. True Howling Heavens is exactly the same as regular Howling Heavens looks like. With the Still pretty good. The I just wish we weren't forced to drop it on her when she's enhanced. Definitely gonna eat into the damage we potentially would have done. Time for you to die. Oh, okay, that was still a pretty respectable amount of damage. And he wasn't even strength up. Green, I think we're going to have heal. Because we don't, well, she's already used her S craft, so we're, we're less worried. Yeah. Let's go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, Arch let's have Reen drop a tear. Yeah. I can manage without your help. My turn. It is your turn. We will. Let's issue yeah. lightning sword. Uh, lightning go. sword. Let's go. <laughs> that reduced delay doesn't seem to be helping us out all that much. <laughs> God dang, dude, she's got a problem with Duvali. It's my turn. Uh, let's go for the Tyrol Ball. I can manage there you go. Help. Let's go. Laura can't impede at all, so. Let's go. Uh, we'll have Reen. Actually, we'll have Reen do this. And now we'll have Let's Reen go. do this. Fire it's my turn. One of these, and then one of these. My and then mind. Laura's about to hit 200 CP. She's going to be able to ancient stake herself again. And now. then that's probably actually going to be it. I can't imagine Anaya surviving one of those from Laura. Another one of those, ah. I should say. Termination slash. Yeah, we probably won't even have to do the S-Craft. Can Gaius retaliate? You won't escape. All right, yep. I let my guard down. Got her with the deadly reprisal. There's 
no time to waste. All right, got it. There we go. One thirty-eight for I everybody. To train. Diligence is it? That's how it's done. Yeah, I did it. They deserve it. And that's an A it down. <laughs> You've gotten so strong, Duvali. Seeing you grow so much is a little bittersweet, I admit. <sighs> I think it's time you stop treating me like a child. <laughs> Leave the rest to me. With their help, I will reach our lord. Very well. You've earned your right to pass. See this through to the end. That we shall. You may just be able to make good on your claim. There she goes. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. We did it! But things are only gonna get tougher from here on. She was so powerful it didn't feel unfair for all of us to be fighting her at once. Fair? I don't think we should be concerned with fairness. Indeed, she's one of the mightiest warriors you'll ever meet. My lord wouldn't have chosen her otherwise. What's more, the close proximity of our lord only adds to her motivation. Anyhow, that's one down. Who's next on the chopping block? Inez. Whoever it is, we'll meet them. We'll meet them soon. The path's clear. Let's go. Investigate this. Anea. As Duvali the Swift, I will face my lord head on. All right. So she reacts to that. Pretty cool. And up we go to the latter portion of this. Now we're on the path to a nest. And that path starts here. Ooh. With brand spanking new yeah, uh, enemies. Yeah. Ah, finish this swiftly. First up is you. Yeah. And we've got a crit with Gaius' name on it. Skull Scythe. Level 134, a cruel, bloodthirsty demon drawn to high concentrations of mana, shreds apart its victims while they're still alive. It's weak to earth, water, and mirage. Leave it to me. We sh Aw. Crap. <coughs> Alright, not having enough it's CP down. in order to actually be able to do anything, Open. does Let's put go. a crimp in our plans. Let's go. We can always radiant spin. No bring them a little closer together. Yeah! Jeez. She's crazy with it. Strike! An opening! It's my turn! And one more here. This is the blade of the eight. Oh, leaves. neat! Yeah, just 138. Like <laughs> 138. Got that. Blocked off from there. Alright, and the Crescent Knights are still our caution encounters here, which is fine. Yes. Oh, we crap! Got together. That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's go. But we gotta open up strong. Let's see what this thing's about. Ruin Spinner, level 134. A dreadful beast that pounces on its prey, skewering it with giant claws. It also spits out venom. It's weak to fire, wind, and mirage. Let's go. Um, how's about Let's we go. do raging, raging fire? fire formation. Let's do it. And then we do a little bit of this action, <laughs> and then that action. Behold. The soul of our Laura, it's up to you. Show them what they're missing. All right, got one of them out of here. Leave it to me. And now Gaia should hopefully. Well, well could have been worse. Back at you. Moving out. All right, and Crow gets that free final hit. 
So that wasn't supposed to happen, but oh well. Ooh, we're actually in kind of a rough spot HP wise, but that is why we've got her here to help us out. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Well, first barrier down. But there's one other enemy here who is still alive and should not be. I'm prepared to strike. Do be careful. Ah! That enemy's strong. Ah! Gotcha. And what do we have back here? Oh, I found some treasure. Demon armored boots. The Z are. I'm not even going to check the Z-Stragas. Uh, oh, maybe it doesn't... Okay, so they're women only? And of course they go to Laura. Uh... Alright, so that's a little too much. Pearl heal strictly... Should lose some defense. Yeah. Fine as she is. All right. Now let's go ahead and head through this time fire gate. This fire time barrier. Let's see if we got anything else new waiting for us. Nope, just a skull scythe. Yeah. Ooh, and whatever this is. Sweet. Okay. Definitely needed those, and it frees us up so that we don't have to. Ooh, we want that. But more importantly, we want to free up our U material so we don't have to spend it on anything, but we really need upgraded EX uh, I'm orbs. To strike. Hmm. All right. So we can't do anything over here just yet. And we don't want to fight the Ruin Spinner. We might not have a good choice. Oh, they finally hit link level four. Fury and lethal assist. After all that fighting together, it's about time. But now we'll be able to take a look at what's going on in this chest with no worries. More U material. We will definitely take that. All right. There's the one. Looks like we're going to have to backtrack in order to get that uh, red chest that's down there, but that's okay. That's how we know that there's something awesome in it, basically. Not at all worried about that. Oh! Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Well, first, okay, we got another thing here. Carousin' for a Beruzin'. Go ahead and see what it... A worthy opponent. Got. Oh! Is that a brand new palm? Don't mind if we do. Golden palm, level 133. A beautiful shiny palm that hides in the shadow of stronger monsters. Contains a great deal of sepith masses. It's weak to fire, wind, and time. It's my turn. All right, so we've got to go ahead and get Reen in there. Let's make sure we don't leave any damage on the table. Let's go. We're only gonna get one opportunity. Oh yeah, we demolished it. Let's go. Didn't get it unbalanced though. Very interesting. All right, we took care of it. Now we're about to wait. Is that a button? Okay, so this I thought that was the chest. So that means it's on the other side then. And that's the one that's going to take us closer to Inez. Okay. That's fine and dandy, but that's actually not what we wanted. Let's go ahead and head on up. All right, so we've got a ruin spinner. Go ahead and... Whoa! Okay, completely missed. There we go. Got him that time. Now this is what we wanted. We found some treasure. As Melis Gem.
Probably didn't have to start all the way down there, but... Plus 12% evasion. Uh... Gaius already... He'd lose some strength. But... We're fine with that. Pushing him up to 43% evasion chance. When coupled with insight status, he'll basically be unfriggin' touchable. You can probably build him so that he's got like 100% evasion or something like that, but that will probably require putting basically everything. Well, I don't even want to theory craft about it right now. It wouldn't be. It would be. He'd be dodgy. But he would not be damagey. But we're not worried about that. We're worried about taking down Inez. Okay. So you've arrived. What is up? Greetings, Inez. So Anea wasn't able to hold you back. You've shown us on numerous occasions that you are not foes to be trifled with. Duvali is with you now too, which more or less evens the playing field. The sass is strong with this one. She's set on defending her master till the end. You haven't changed, Ines. Not since you recklessly challenged our lord when you were a bracer. Wait, come again? She did that? That was a long time ago. My bracer emblem likely lies rusted at the bottom of some long forgotten ditch. With my family's military tradition lost, I sought other ways of putting my martial abilities to good use. Thus, I joined the bracers, but soon found myself constrained by certain special provisions. Sometimes, people in positions of authority would go unpunished for their crimes, while the innocent would suffer. Yes, despicable as it may be, that sort of thing does happen. Those special provisions are the reason governments agree to let bracers operate in their countries. I heard rumors of this from Toval. One day, I watched on as my lord executed the ringleader of a criminal group. His influence and authority meant nothing to her. Without hesitation, she punished villainy to keep innocent people safe. She's not talking about Ravache, is she? No, the dude from Ravache is still in jail. I realized that this was the ideal I aspired to. And didn't you too, Duvali? Yes, our personal histories differ, but like you, I was won over by our Lord's commitment to justice. Even now that I left the Stall Ritter, I still feel the same loyalty toward her. Which is why I have to ask her in person why she is doing all this. I'll defeat anyone in my way. Even my Lord, if that is how it must be. She's gonna feed her lord to get to- I must not be understanding that correctly. We're with you, Duvali. Hate to break it to you, but you can't stop us here. Yes. <laughs> well said. All right, she's also got backup. I am Ines the Stout. My lord granted me that title, and I will repay her by living up to it. I am the wall you cannot overcome. The fortress you will crash upon. Now, to battle! Now, show me your strength! Should be simple enough. First, we go ahead and get the skinny on her. Inez the Stout, level 137. Stalwart are serving the seventh anguis of Ouroboros. Her halberd fighting style has been honed over generations. She's not weak to anything in particular. Very well. 
you, Chrono Drivers. Let's go. Uh. And I think Reen. Let's have Reen True Crimson Slash. Crimson Slash. She's also got perma healing on. You won't escape. Get some, dude. Now. An opening. You got the Chrono Drive. Okay, well we'll let that first enemy heal up. Should have issued a. Oh, it's gonna be the other one that we haven't even attacked. You won't escape. Well, still getting them. An opening. All right, now go. let's go ahead and issue Avalon Hearts. Avalon Hearts. Very and well. we will have Laura. Okay, she is strength up. I was worried I was leaving damage on the table, but we're not worried about that at the moment. We got our strength maxed. We got our CP maxed. We've got Laura maxed. It's over. The soul of our sage shines too brightly. Uh, let's have her get in there and take a swipe at her. Nice. An opening. Leave it to me. Leave it to you. We shall. Let's see about a hunter wing for the unbalance. Nope. The true battle begins now. All right, so she's about to be on her BS. So Reen will do this. It's my turn. And then let's get a free strike in. Now we're gonna have to play this pretty. Sweetly. Be gone. Well, got you out of there. My mind is clear. My no matter what, we have to use the prism caliber here. No way around it if we don't want our healing even more on top of her free 3k. Definitely want to keep that to a minimum. All right, so she is going to, she's gonna enhance herself, get that little starburst buff. We probably could have gotten her out of here before that, but now we gotta contend with it. No way around that. Yeah. So many turns back to back, even though we're sped up. Must be nice. Let's go. go ahead and get Let's in there, go. Laura. Shield of the Order, my right? Shield. Forgot about that. It's my turn. Shit. All right. Leave it to me. Gaius will. True Golden Howl. Let her take one more swing at us. Heavy divider. Here I go. Rain is going to need. Well, we'll give him a regular old Curia Balm. Hey and then Gaius, we will literally just walk up and put in front of her. Let's go. Not before issue. Well, we'll issue Avalon Hearts afterwards. Let's park him right there. My duty calls. She won't be able to stop that. It's my turn. Reen, however, will be able to, and he'll be able to do it in style with Avalon Hearts. It's my turn. All right. Cannot be used in battles against people. Crimson Slash. Now. We hold ourselves back because we're such stand-up folks. Nope. Behold, the soul of if we are lucky, 
Laura will be able to actually drop her here and now. And if Laura can't do it, Gaius will do it. And if Gaius can't do it, Green will do it. Nope, Laura did it. <laughs> Not bad. I swear upon my sword. Laura's a friggin' monster. And we love her for it. There's Ines. <sighs> I'm truly impressed you were able to make it this far. Duvali, your blade hasn't lost its edge even after leaving us. If anything, it has only become sharper. That's because the entire time I was away, I never lost sight of our Lord's teachings. That's for sure, dude. Or forgot the experiences I had alongside you and Inea. When this is all over, would you spar with me once more? <laughs> Gladly. Go forth, Duvali. Class 7. Good luck. They're so cordial, even in defeat. She really is high principled, isn't she? It's pretty crazy that she started out as a bracer, but then joined the society, though. Toval and instructor Sarah told me that donations and financial aid from outside parties are what keep the guild going. But some of their activities fall into a gray area. Enough to occasionally make you question their commitment to justice. Now hold on. I know we're in Erebonia, but I won't stand for Bracer Slander, not even from Rini Baby. Justice is an, uh, is an idiosyncratic pursuit. Our ideas may differ, and mine may even be at odd with, uh, odds with my lords, but this is what I've come here to confirm. And that's what we all want, the truth. Can you guys done? The path's wide open. Let's mosey. Right, let's go. There shouldn't be that much more between us and it. Inez, just you watch. I shall not fail. And I imagine, holy crap, actually, we probably could have used a quick little heal. I can't imagine there's too much more. Alright. Ooh, a Crescent Knight. Dancing Maiden, we do not care about. I'm prepared to strike. Okay, let's go ahead and have our wounds seen to. She's got Seraphic Ring. <sighs> this is nice. And this. And this is about to be nicer. One of our Master Quartzes is really close to hitting level 8. And it just hasn't happened yet. Hmm. It probably won't occur at this point, like, uh, unless there's another Crescent Knight. We're probably not going to get it until after we defeat What's-Her-Face, but that's fine. Getting it at all is better than not getting it in any case. I'm not going to complain. We'll just press onward. Ooh. I'm prepared to strike. This chest is going to be all alluring. We might as well dragon incense. Now that's going to come in handy. There is no enemy waiting for us. Oh, a chest. Okay, I was about to walk right past this. Yuna, Ash, Elliot, Randy. All right, so that's probably going to be Yuna's, uh, like, an upgrade for Yuna, potentially. But we can't do anything about that right now, so. Yeah, this is looking like the... Okay, yep, this is it. Taking us to our final destination. Whew. Not having made EX orbs in a while has me a little on edge. Uh, we're actually... Isn't that spelled M-U-R-G-L-E-I-S? Anyways, uh... There's nothing there that we really are interested in making. 
And I think we do have... We have plenty of... Okay, well, let's go through these. Just to make life easier. Maybe not Angelica's. Definitely Eusis's. Sharon, Atila, maybe not. Alright. Yeah, so she can get the really good stuff on. I think that is it for what we're going to be able to do. But that's fine. We're getting closer and closer to having everybody all, uh, all decked out. Oh, Brandy still... Or Tita still needs a bunch of fire. She's the last one left that's got, like, a, uh, an elemental slot locked. Alright. Feeling pretty confident about our loadout. We'll go ahead and do that. And then, uh, give me one second, I'm gonna grab something to drink, we'll be right back. No more waiting around, or dilly-dallying, or can we? I guess if we really, really wanted to, we could go back to, uh, we could go back to the thing and get our full BP and stuff back, but that's, I don't want to do that. Okay, I don't want to do that. Let's go forward. They've been partners for a long time. My lord! I've been expecting you, Duvali, and Class 7. <laughs> She's wearing her helmet. Mm hmm. Gonna have to knock it off of her. My lord, why do you cover your face? The one who stands before you now is not Leanne Sandlot. Instead, it is the seventh anguish of Ouroboros, the faceless awakener of the Argent Knight. I welcome you as a fellow challenger in the rivalry. You seek to face us as simply another awakener. All right, we can give her what she wants. So that's what you've decided. My lord. We learned about your past in the Lunar Shrine. You died 250 years ago in the War of the Lions, but rose as an immortal. You found out about the curse that plagued Emperor Dreykels and waited two centuries for his reincarnation. You've experienced so many things throughout your life. You know what true evil looks like. So why did you join Ouroboros 20 years ago? Why are you helping them destroy the world? Reen wants to get right down the brass tacks. Not even Vita understands your reasons. The truth is simpler than you may think. Is it now? To put it frankly, it's all because of my pride, my regret, and something in my heart I could not throw away. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, you're gonna need to elaborate because that wasn't as simple as you thought it was. Oh, flashback? In his later years, Dreykels told me of the darkness which had been eating away at him. It started tormenting him after the War of the Lions, causing him decades of anguish. He feared it would never leave him, that it would haunt his soul for all eternity. I searched for his reincarnation to ensure his fears would not come to pass. And eventually, I found him. He was already a well-respected man with a high position in the military. He had a wife and child. I observed him for some time, and was relieved to see no trace of that sinister darkness. Okay, so she was observing him to keep a promise that she made to Dreykels. At about this time, I received an invitation from Ouroboros' leader. Though I had no intention of joining the society, I went to hear them out. It was there that I was told of an imminent catastrophe that would befall the world. It seemed no sooner had I breathed a sigh of relief, reassured that my fears were unfounded, than that vile darkness emerged anew. Yeah. I attempted to intervene, but by the time I arrived, it was far too late. 
That's when I made my decision. I would join Ouroboros as an anguish and aid them with the Phantasmal Blaze plan. I would take part in the rivalries and defeat the other five candidates, absorbing their power. Other five candidates? All so that I might destroy the root of all evil, Ishmelga. Okay, so she wants to do the same thing Reen's gonna do. <sighs> My lord. Whoa. What incredible resolve. Fool, why did you not tell me? Rose! She did say she was gonna see this. Uh, Roselia. So you decided to come after all. <laughs> How could I just sit and watch from afar? Leanne, why? Why did you not confide in me? You and Dreykel's both. If he was suffering under a curse, he should have come to me. He really should have. He said to me it was something we humans had brought upon ourselves. Were we to continue to foist our problems onto you, we would only be repeating the mistakes humanity made with the Septarians. That... Is also... Yeah, okay, I can see where he's coming from with that. That, and he claimed it would not be very becoming for an old, stubborn man like him to go begging for help. How very prideful. <laughs> As for me, this all came about because of my own stubbornness. How could I possibly take such a selfish burden and place its weight on the shoulders of my dear friend? <laughs> Both of you are such hopeless fools. No, I am the foolish one for not realizing what you struggled with. I mean, your friends were actively keeping you out of the loop. Roselia. Now I understand. Uh oh, okay, so it's time to hear what Duvali's got to say. Your actions were motivated by loyalty to the one you love. No. You sacrificed yourself to protect the future of the entire Empire. I see now that you never truly sought to bring about the Great Twilight. You simply pretended to go along with it for the sake of your true goal. Win all the rivalries and destroy the Ebon Knight. Okay. Oh, that's... <sighs> what makes you certain my motives were so noble, Duvali? Because I know... Deep in my heart. In the eight years I've fought by your side, I've witnessed your sense of justice and your boundless compassion. You value kindness and living one's life with honor more than anything else. There's no way someone as virtuous as you would ever want to end the world. That? Okay, well, I do appreciate Duvali having all of this faith in Arian Road. And I am inclined to believe that she's pretty noble. I don't, like, it makes more sense than her wanting to end the friggin' world to me. Regret? Pride? I'm sure those feelings were part of your decision. But your compassion far outweighs those. And knowing you like I do, compassion may not be a strong enough word. That said, my lord, if I may speak plainly, you have made a serious mistake. Really? What mistake would that be? The Great Twilight involves all of us. You are wrong to think you needed to bear that burden alone. You have me, Ines, and Enea. And not just us. Everyone here. Schwarzer, Class 7, all of Thor's is working toward that same goal. <sighs> Duvali. <sighs> Duvali. That was... Yeah. She's right. I'm with Duvali on this one. Oh. Uh, Her helmet. It's been eight years since I took you in. I knew a day like this might come eventually. But I never thought I would see those eyes of yours so filled with resolve. My lord... But do you have the strength to match that resolve? Okay, this... <laughs> She's like, you can talk a big game, but can you back it up?
I appreciate your candor, but I shall speak plainly as well. You have no idea the true horror you face. The twisted darkness of the Ebon Knight and its thousand-year curse. The snake that devours the world has begun to stir, and the great twilight nears its zenith. There is no time. The situation is dire. My lord! The shrine is resonating with her! That can't be good. <laughs> Instructor, what should we do? Fight? Schwarzer. It's simple. We just have to show her we have the strength to match our resolve. And that we'll be the ones who reach the Ebon Knight. Oh. His power. Instructor Rain. We need to put everything on the line here. If we don't fight like our lives depend on it, we'll never make it to the end of the rivalries. The Maiden's shown us her determination, the willpower that's kept her going for centuries. So we need to show her that we can match that resolve. <sighs> yes, you're exactly right. My lord, not only did you show me boundless compassion, you also taught me that power without justice is meaningless. Words will do us no more good. So I will use my sword to prove it to you. I'll show you that you were mistaken to walk that solitary path, and that I am truly worthy of walking beside you. Well said. <laughs> Not bad, Duvali. I got your back. We'll show you what we got. Very well. Then ready your blade, Duvali the Swift. Rose! Fine! I, Crimson Rosalia, shall oversee this battle. May each of you put all your strength into it! Right! Okay. This will be your end. Fight with all you have! Uh... <laughs> okay. I thought Reen was gonna be permanently, uh... Okay, but I guess not. Well, it's yeah. just as well. If he had, that would've been... This battle was friggin' tough. Aryan Road, the Steel Maiden. Level 139. Ouroboros' Seventh Anguis. Merged with a huge amount of mana. Lance in hand. Steely resolve in her eyes. She's not weak to anything in particular. All right, taking a little bit of a beat right me. here, but we'll have him, Marcus, activate. I'm up. and then we'll have him, Marcus, activate. and then she will, well, she can crawl and drive too, but she'll actually just attack. <laughs> and then yeah. Wing's got us on the strength. We'll have Duvali speed us up. Ready yourself. Storm Launcher. You won't escape. Gotcha. It's down. An opening. He critted on it too. Now Laura is in a serious bind. Let's go. Uh, let's have him. Well, first we're going to issue Avalon Hearts. Avalon Hearts. It's my turn. We'll see if Gaius's restoration Marcus, technique activate. is worth anything. Behold, the soul of then we're thing. going to do this. Now. Have her hit him with that nice attack. I'm just worried that Laura might die, but we want to get these Avalon Hearts turns. Start using those. Okay. Plenty good. Dang. Someone's lucky. 
Uh, and we don't want Reen to move. Crimson Flash! Now! There! So at least we got that. Oh, I was only expecting for him to heal 4 or 5k. Pretty nice. Okay. So we're putting in the work. It's down. All right. And now definitely want to have him, as per usual, simply stand in front of My his turn. quarry. Here I go. So now that we can do it for free, uh, I think we'll go for the Avalon Hearts again. Here I go. Nice. So many unbalances. Of the roiling heavens, fall to the battlefield. Crap, predictable. That all canceled, too. An opening. Let's go. Uh, let's have him Curia Bomb himself. Because yeah. being sealed is absolutely not going to work for us. It's my turn. Then we'll have Reen La Forte us again. It's my turn. Yeah. Uh, and with him, La Forte. Very well. Uh. Yeah. Laura, get in there with the true radiant blade. Ooh. Another zero arts or or zero order. That's all we really need. And then once Reen. Uh, well, we don't want that zero order to be... Oh, crap. We don't want to miss it, but she's about to hit us with something good. Take this. Ultimate Saber. <laughs> Dang. Not even Gaius could get that. Unforgivable. Oh, nice. Let's go. Go ahead and have... Well, first... Try Avalon Hearts. Avalon Hearts. Let's go. And then have Laura attack yet again. Behold, the soul of our now. Her turn order, though. I feel like even if we used Gaius' S-Craft right now, she would still, like, uh, Aryan Road would still move before Ready? Laura would. You have done well to make it this far. I'm up. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, if we have Reen, Demonite Shane... No, we're actually fine if we do that. Uh, yeah! Let's go. And then issue Avalon Hearts yet again. Avalon Hearts. It's my Maximize turn. Reen's damage by doing this. It's down. This. And then this. My mind is clear. So that ten percent HP heal is making me nervous because if Reen no, not Reen alright here I go uh, we'll just have you well actually, let's have you Chrono Drive to me Saints Aura. Leave it to me. Free 50k. <laughs> Must be nice. Will you survive this? Okay, yeah. Well. Our defense being upped made me not 
super worried about that. I'll handle this. Oh, excellent! It's my turn. All right, so Avalon Hearts us, please. It's my turn. Nice. Now. This. All right, so he's just gonna have to be wild for a second. Arcus, activate. Here I go. And that second is about to elapse. Go ahead and get your Curia on, dude. Thanks. Okay, I thought they were about to hit us with some nonsense. Have her get that HP heal, which you would have had to shut down. Quick. Here I go. And then we can make sure that she gets nice and impeded. Thunder of the roiling heavens. Fall to the battlefield. Nice! Let's go! She's only got one more turn of that. So let's have Rain a Forte us in anticipation. Jeez. I'll handle this. Uh, oh, let's have her attack. Now. Her and Duvali jumping her. Ha. Now, how? Very well. How much HP? Okay, she has two hundred and nineteen thousand HP left. So I don't think we're going to be able to get her anytime soon. I was going to be like, what if we drop everybody's S-Craft, but... It's my turn. Let us have you... Alright, we'll do this. Drop him right there. Thunderbolt! Let's go. That didn't. Okay. Crimson flash. Not sure why that it's didn't down. impede, but whatever. This. Ready yourself. <laughs> and he's gone right back up to 200. My duty calls. Which is excellent. Uh, of course, we got to put that raging fire back in our hearts. And by Raging Fire, I meant Avalon Hearts. Oh! Duvali said, no, ma'am. Okay, so we're about to get to that point. 140,000. And then immediately go back in. We're going to have to try to get some unbalances in if we want to keep the Avalon Hearts going. That's the only thing. But once she gets to about a like a hundred thousand, oh, hold on, I just massively overestimated this. This is the power of the soaring phoenix. This should be it. Golden seal etched deep in my soul. Especially with Laura putting in all that work. With the fury of the goddess. But now the only thing is, well, I guess we don't have to worry about this for a second, but. I don't expect Aryan Road to join us, but we don't have to worry about that at the moment. Right now, we're just going to bask in our victory. The final time we're going to fight her. I can't imagine her coming up again in battle after this. <laughs> Impressive. There's no nice. Time to waste. Dunamis hit level 9. Recover 11%. Alright. And, okay, large strength in Arts Attack up. And crit rate plus 5. Damage increased by 95%. We're almost at double damage for each attack. Break damage up by 55 and crit plus 5%. Alright! God, I need to keep getting better. I must continue to train. So there, slowly becoming ridiculously yeah, good. It. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Uh, we 
did it! Don't be so hasty! We've only just begun! We won't lose to you! My lord! <laughs> oh! <sighs> Looks like it's time for the main event! Let's begin, Argreon. Understood. Oh! Argreon's a girl? Okay. My lord. We'll take it from here, Duvali. I swear we'll get through to her for you. <sighs> All right, Schwarzer. Don't you dare disrespect my lord with some half-hearted display. You got it. Good luck. So we're definitely gonna win. Leanne has been piloting that knife for 250 years. Do not take her lightly. Heed my call. Valimar! Come, Ordeen! Cool. I am really worried about this one. I've not had the chance to battle other Divine Knights since our meeting at the workshop. That sword of yours, I can sense that girl's presence within. Yes. Although we can't hear her or Valimar's voices now, we know they're always with us. For their sake, we can't afford to lose now. You ready, Steel Maiden? We're gonna go full force. Okay. I admire that spirit. I will not hold back either. Bring to bear all the strength you use to best the Jaeger King. Victory in the second rivalry has boosted Valimar's HP. About partners in the third rivalry. Because the Courageous 2 is nearby, you can select from your full roster of partners for this battle. That's pretty cool. I actually want to stick with Gaunt's arrow. And that additional 400 strength is not too shabby either. Come, let us settle this. Okay. Our EX orbs, dude. It's my turn. Well, there's nothing to do but to do it. Nope. No, no, no. Sidestepped us easy. All right. Gotcha. Okay. An opening. Jeez. That's right. a problem. Looks like she resists strength down. Must be nice. All right. All right. Uh, blade throw. Now nah, we're not gonna worry about that. Just a little bit of that action. A little bit of this action. It's my turn. I think we're going to have to basically completely dedicate Laura and Yuna's turns to healing. Let's go. Spirit. Yeah. Because this probably is not going to work otherwise. Darkness, sunder them! Nice. You're wide open. It's my turn. A little bit more. Now, an opening. Jeez. Uh oh. Well. Can't stop whatever that's about to be. Thousand damage. Let's go for the body. My turn. Uh, you will spirit, spirit. like your spirit depends on it. All right. Uh, the body only half chance. Let's impede. Sunderman. There. 
Let's go. Um, he can't. Fifty percent chance to unbalance. Let's go for it. Cool, going for it turned out to be a good choice. I hear you. If we can get her unbalanced, that would be excellent. We're gonna need to. Because Crow definitely needs to charge. He doesn't have enough EP for something else. Alright. Here I go! Uh you let's charge. Ready yourself! Storm Launcher. At least she attacked Reen, right? Crap. All right, so you will Take charge. This. All right. And then let's impede. Darkness, oh, crap. <laughs> You've grown considerably. Well. There. An opening. <laughs> Survive this. <laughs> no! We're so about to lose. She who cuts through all. This is your end. Crap. Red Cross. <laughs> Give me a okay. Killed him outright. Uh, I can still fight. Um, let's resurrect stone uh, him. Thanks. I can't lose. And then we will Morning now, Moon. Bring it on. Not yet. She will spirit. Take this. You're really now? You're really what? Really wish we could actually 100% dodge stuff this still fights. with that. Seems like we're uh, seems like that's no longer a thing. Seems yeah. like we're just in it now. I'll handle this, Spirit. All right. All right. So let's. We can't impede. But we can attack. Thunder of the roiling heavens, fall to the battlefield. Reen, please uh, dodge an attack. What's the point of this craft? Oh my, Adios. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Let's go yes. ahead and go for this. Not yet. Spirit. All right. It's my turn. Now, let's go for the waning crescent slash. Get back. Excellent. Get back. An yeah. All right. And he'll charge. You. Take this! You're finished! Wow! An opening! And that downs Let's our go. defense too! Let's go! Friggin' Spirit. crazy! Huh. An opening. Well, Reen is about to be hurting. Thunder of the roiling heavens! To the Dude, she is walking all over us! All right, so let's resurrect Stone Reen. Thanks. I'll handle this. You shall. Let's hear it. 
All right. And then Darkness, impede. Green will charge, Here I and then go. she will spear it. Take this. Basically, the only thing we could do, the unbalance, dude. Her unbalance uh, chance on that is freaking crazy. Uh, my turn. Uh, let's go for the repair stone. We can't really do much else. Thunder of the roiling heavens, fall to the battlefield. God dang! It's All right. my turn. So Reen will charge. Here I go. Yuna will gravestone. Thanks. And then right. he will desperately go. Ninety percent chance to unbalance. Okay. There. We went for the desperation it, tech. Leave it to We're me. going to drop another brave stone. <laughs> and then see if Reen can get the unbalanced this time. Because if we can get her if we can get her in break status, we might be able to do this. Rob. I should have taken them more seriously because I knew, I knew it was a problem. An opening. Huh. And we are being punished. Uh, I'll handle this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then right. she will gravestone. Yeah. Thanks. Let's go. I used the wrong thing, didn't I? I definitely wait. What do we use? Yeah. Thanks. Huh. Take this. All right. Well, I I effed something up. That much is for certain. Another holy grand cross. I guess she has been unbalancing the crap out of us. And uh, friggin' Crow is double defense down. What the heck did I have Yuna use? This is your end. That one, I don't even know what I picked, but that one misplay might have just cost us the fight. Okay. We're still in this. Maybe. If we don't land on that unlucky 10%, okay. Let's do this, Crow! No problem. Ooh. Go ahead and get in there. But she has so much more, like, uh, break status or a break gauge because she was able to do that buff. gonna spear it my turn and he's going to charge you. I'll handle this and also spear it Thunder of the roiling heavens. if only we could do something it's my turn uh let's recharge all right. He will impede. Here I go. She'll spear it. She's identified him as the main threat. What's our main thing, anyways? Argent Knight Argreon, level 139. Opponent in the third rivalry. Its awakener, Arian Road, is a legendary lance wielder. 
She's weak to time, space, and mirage. Uh, let's use a nice. All right, let's use a repair stone. Only got one more of those. Take this. You're finished. An opening. And the defense ah. down. I'm up. Okay, it wasn't her body in the one. Okay, because it was like that very first one, it was not her body. So it was bound to be her body for one of these. Moving out. Uh We have to impede. Be really friggin' nice. Let's go. All right. Uh A 90% chance to unbalance. We've got the break! I don't friggin' believe it! Yeah. Come on, Laura! And, okay, no, Yuna, she doesn't have... We don't have any EP! Nice! We got her! Jeez, dude! Oh. You messed with the wrong guy! All right, it's been a while since we've got a fight that got my heart racing like that. All right, we were, that's how it's done. There were so many points where we were in danger of losing, but we made it happen. Okay. We need new EX orbs yesterday. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> Crap. Yeah! They did it! They surpassed Leanne! Only barely! So that's the power of 250 years of training. No kidding. The Steel Maiden. No, Leanne Sandlot is one hell of a fight. Well done, Ashen and Azure Awakeners. It would seem this is the end. We got the win. Now, the Ashen Knight will absorb the Argent Knight's power. Yeah, it would make the most sense for her to leave things to us and move on. Adding this newfound strength to that which you won from the Palatinate Knight, you now have a significant advantage in the rivalries. But it will not guarantee your victory against the Ebon Knight. Hold on, you don't mean... Was this your plan all along? To give us your power so that we'd have a fighting chance against the Shmelga? Either that or take our power for herself. No. I assure you, I fought with every ounce of strength I had. You simply proved to be the more powerful. All due to your trust in yourself and your allies. Between the strength Lady Le Guin and now Duvali have shown me, I feel as though I'm seeing the dawn of a new era. My lord! I have no regrets. Excellent. My journey has been long. So very long. It's time for it to end. Enough of your nonsense, Leanne! No regrets? You complete and utter fool! I will never forgive you if you give up and fade away now! They're gonna prevent it? Okay. You have yet to apologize for not telling me of the burden you carried all those years! And what of Dracul's soul? Do you not care what becomes of him? <sighs> She's right! And what about the war? It might be impossible to stop it now. Even I know that! But you're the Lance Maiden! You helped end the War of the Lions! So please, stay here! If this war gets out of control, we'll need your help to stop it! 
The Jaeger King may have been tricked into becoming an Awakener, but you're different. You made this choice yourself. I should have vanished a long time ago, too. But I'm seeing this through to the end. So we're going to be able to convince her, then. I think I actually would have preferred if she disappeared. <sighs> My lord, you chose to walk this path on your own. And now, you're trying to go off to Adios on your own, too. Did I not prove to you that I am worthy of walking by your side? If you were to disappear now, then what did I fight for? It's not fair. It's just not fair. <laughs> Duvali. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. I would have been satisfied to die here. Surrounded by those who carry on Dreykel's will. However, I now realize that somewhere along the way, I forgot how precious life is. You taught me that, Dreykel's. I'll live on, if at the very least, to see you once more. Okay, I don't no, see her- all legends must have an end. It's time to lay you to rest. Uh-oh! Dang! My lord! Okay! This guy! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay! Could I have? No, did he get it? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Rufus has really gone off the friggin' deep end, but I'm more ticked about him stealing the last hit. We put in all that work, and he just deals one blow, and he gets the full benefit? That's garbage. It's wings. <laughs> Excellent work, children. With that, the third rivalry is complete. And the Auric Knight has grown in power. <laughs> wow! Are you for real? Of course, that didn't work. What's going on? I mean, Rufus cheated. My lord. Uh, everyone! You're here. Rufus Alborea. How could you? Do you even understand what you've done? It seemed as though no one was interested in these wings, and I didn't want them to go to waste. So I took them for myself. Well, the person who was using them first still had them. The whole point of the rivalries is to take from one another. Didn't anyone tell you not to let your guard down on a battlefield? He's so smug. Besides, the great war of this era is about to begin. Old legends from bygone days have no place here. No! You make me sick. How? Could you? Your time is swiftly running out. Soon the omen will appear, and Operation Jormungan will begin tomorrow. Tomorrow? I thought we had more time. All the preparations for the war have been finished. Supreme Commander Van Dyke will see to the rest. I will be waiting for you alongside His Excellency at the final stage. I look forward to finishing our little talk there. Wow. The final stage? What does that mean? <laughs> Do 
To think my end would come like this. Right? My lord! <gasps> no! That wound! Just like what happened to me. Right, Rose. My time is already long over. No! Please, my lord! Please don't go! This isn't how it was supposed to be. You said you'd live! Sometimes parents must lie to their children. Forgive me, Duvali, Ines, Anea. Though I never had children of my own, you are all daughters to me. <laughs> My lord. Lady Leanne! I am truly sorry for all the worry I caused you, Rose. But I am so grateful to have known you, my dearest friend. Thank you for watching over us, kind-hearted witch. <laughs> you fool! One who should be thanking you. Lady Arsaid, I can think of no one better than you to have inherited the name Sandlot. I am truly happy to have met you. Please, give my farewells to Lord Arsaid and Lady Le Guin as well. I promise I will. Leanne, I'm so sorry. I remember seeing you. When you were yet very small. Perhaps it was just my own foolish musings, but I found myself thinking that if I had a son, I would want him to be like you. Well? <sighs> you are the only person who can defeat Ishmelka now. Please, take what little strength I have left. So we were able to at least split the power. And I, like I said, I would prefer for her to have gone My here. My long journey is finally at its end. But not like this. Trichols. May we meet again. If the goddess wills it. There she goes. Jeez. Rufus. That's how you make everybody hate you. But I guess they couldn't let us have such a powerful ally on our side. Are we back? It's already morning. She lived with courage, to the end. Just like the boss. She left this world with no regrets. Yeah, and she was able to pass her will on to us. You are correct. She was able to impart a small amount of herself to the Ashen Knight and his blade. Right at the end, they absorbed the final fragments of the Argent Knight's power. So what's changed? I haven't gotten a good look at us. He looks the same as before, but something feels different about him. So this is the parting gift the Steel Maiden has granted us. Valamore is back! Alright! Was that... Valamore, you can talk again? Indeed. I'm glad to be able to speak freely once more. Thanks to Argreon and Arian Road, I was finally able to break free from the curse's hold on me. Nice! And I'm not the only one. Yeah, she really was something else. And now we can talk to Milliam again.
<laughs> I can't believe it. Milliam? Is this really? So, he may have gotten the wings, but we got all the real power. Milliam, what in the world is going on? Yeah, are you dead or are you not dead? It's okay, Ali. <laughs> Heck if I know! Okay, well I guess it makes sense, well, that she wouldn't really know. It was probably thanks to the Steel Maiden's power. Guess it set me free or something. This is just some kind of astral projection, though. So, it's not my real body. Uh. Even so... You show up again acting like nothing happened? Man... That's one hell of a parting gift. Yeah! She was awesome! Thank you, Steel Maiden. What a truly wonderful gift. <sighs> to the very end... You were an unabashed show-off. Farewell, my friend. Oh man, did we miss the main event? Seriously? I don't think anybody wants you here, dude. You! The fool. I was wondering when you'd show up. Oh, don't be like that. I'm not here to pick a fight. Okay, well, I guess they were they were on the same side, ostensibly. I... simply came to say my farewells to a longtime friend. And looks like I'm not the only one. Oh! Vita. Okay, so everybody from the society's showing up. Um, yeah, Joshua would have been acquainted with her, huh? Ren, Joshua! Blue Blanc, too. You were all watching, weren't you? Indeed. This was one of the reasons we agreed to help with the performance. So they could be nearby. I used my spells to keep an eye on you. I'm glad we were able to catch up. So she's really gone then. The two of us had tea together all the time. And her and Luve's sparring sessions were always a sight to behold. I'm going to miss her. Even when I had completely closed my heart off to the world, she still tried to reach out to me. Things won't be the same without her. Thank you for your kind words. She truly touched a great many lives. <laughs> Ouroboros lost quite a valuable pawn today. It's a shame it was necessary for the rivalries. Dang, we had a whole vibe going on and Campanella just had to kill it. Oh well, I'm sure the Grandmaster won't mind all that much. Wait, are you? You've got some balls just showing up here by yourself. Hold on, Ash. Now's not the time. You said you weren't here to fight, right, Campanella? Right. It might be hard to believe, but I'm grieving too. To be honest though, even I find it a little strange I can feel this way. Life's just full of surprises. Maybe you're not as heartless as you thought you were. Campanella. Just when I think I've got you figured out. Well, since you're here, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Ooh, more answers? What is this omen the Governor General mentioned? And what did he mean by the final stage? Now that you mention it, I do remember him saying that. And I'm guessing it has something to do with why McBurn and the Ogre Girl aren't here. I didn't really think that had anything to do with anything, but now that Ren's brought it up... <gasps> yeah, something's off. That freak wouldn't miss the chance to see a battle like this. And McBurn and Arian Road were among Ouroboros' longest members. You'd think he'd be here too. He's conspicuous in his absence. I realize he just left the tower, but still, he should have been able to make it here. <laughs> I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You'll find out the reason why soon enough. Really? Huh? Hey! Everyone!
one. Look. Is it snowing? Okay. What is that? What was that? Something flashed in the sky. <gasps> That's not good. Instructor! Reen, what's the matter? I'm fine. But this presence, it's... Yeah, I feel it too. Something big just showed up. That light... There's only one place it could have come from. Where? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Is everyone okay down there? But where's the light coming from? The Courageous too. Olivier, is that you? Sorry, there's no time to explain. Please come aboard quickly. Estelle, Lloyd, and the others are with me too. Oh, crap. Something strange is happening all over the Empire. It started in the skies over the Osgiliath Basin. Okay. So the Osgiliath Basin was not high on the list of potential places that light could have appeared over, but... The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. Hmm. So what's up? What gives? Aryan Road died, and then everything went to crap? Campanella showed up to half grieve, half taunt moments ago. I'm glad we killed the thing that was here already. Midwestern Erebonia, skies above the Osgiliath Basin. Whoa! That's probably the... Is that the Omen? The final dungeon? Hmm. It's a problem, no matter what. Oh, okay. Kind of sucks I didn't get the chance to say goodbye to the Steel Maiden. But I guess coming here was the right choice, huh? Yeah. The party's just getting started. Huh. There was a little, there was a, like a castle type thing inside of the spherical eyeball. Lemaire Province, Ordis. One is appearing here, too. He did say omens. What is that? Right? Dear. A white spire. It seems familiar. Is it white? The last time something like this happened, Crossbow was basically on friggin' fire. Sutherland Province, Saint's Ark. So we've got three so far. Okay, so this one is the same, it looks the same as the one in Ordis. What? What in the goddess's name? Irina, do you know anything about this? Even I have no idea what's going on now. However, I see. It's not a railway cannon or even an airship. So this is what they... So do you know what's going on or do you not know what's going on? Because it kind of sounds like you know what's going on. Or at least have more of an inkling, Nord Highlands, Northern Region. Now Nord we haven't spent all that much time in. That's it. 
<laughs> so this is what the fool mentioned. Their ultimate trump card. What is it though? These omens. Nortia Province, Isengard Mountain Range. So that's it. Just like the thing that destroyed Northambria. Is that. Are those salt pails? Kreutzen Province, Southern Lake Ebel. Wow. That's a problem. No way. Just like we were told. Damn it. What the hell are they doing? Uh, now that he said that, it looks like they're summoning a bunch of salt pails. What do they get from solidifying Erebonia? Hmm. One's gonna appear right in the middle of Heimdall. People are going to die. Oh, no! Okay, so that thing is not unique. Ah! What? What is that thing? It's so huge! Citizens of Heimdall, please remain calm. Cedric. That's a different Gargantua class airship, I guess. What you see before you is not here to cause you harm. In fact, it is here to open the door to our future. Allow me to introduce our ultimate weapon in the war against Calvert. What is that? Behold the key to Erebonia's absolute and lasting victory, the Imperial Fortress! We're just... Oh, okay, there it is. The Pleroma Grass making us go. This is awesome. Imperial Fortress? <laughs> so it's on our side? Great! There's no way we'll lose to Calvert now. No. With that thing, we could take on the entire continent. They want friggin' blood. Oh, that's not good. What? I don't What is going on? Long live the Empire of Erebonia! The future belongs to us! Just straight up brainwashing everybody now. So there are two Imperial Fortresses and a bunch of salt pails that have randomly showed up? At last. The Imperial Fortress, built by us gnomes 1200 years ago. The Tuaha de Danan. That shall be the stage for the final rivalry. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. And what's the, these outfits? So villainous. <laughs> the Imperial Fortress. With that on our side, the Republic doesn't stand a chance. So that's what you'll use to swallow everything up until nothing remains. So yes, it will herald the end of the world. Ha. 
Supreme Commander of the Imperial Army, General Van Dyke. It is time we wake the World Serpent. On behalf of His Majesty, I now issue the final order to begin Operation Jormungand. We declare war at 1200 hours tomorrow. The Republic's destruction will soon follow. Ha. Huh. He's really gung ho about that. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4, Act 3 Seekers of the Dawn, and. I did not think. Marvelous, your rank has risen. Jeez. I didn't think it would happen, like, we would end things there. But of course, Rufus just had to speed things along. A reward for your troubles. Take it, I insist. <laughs> You've certainly outdone yourself. Chrome blue harmonica. All right, yeah, because I guess we weren't going to get another opportunity to actually give it to her. But okay, there was a lot that happened. We're going to go ahead, call it apart here, and then continue forward. But that's going to be next time. Join me then for more The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. Bye for now, guys.